Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mark with Dragon 7 Drone Tech. In this video, I'll cover eight important tips for Skydio 2's keyframe skill that will also include some important safety tips. Tip number one when adding a keyframe. When adding a keyframe, the before and after option should be considered as adding the keyframe either to the left or right of the current keyframe and not in relation to the drone's flight direction. Here I selected to add the keyframe after the current keyframe, moving into position, hitting add, and as you might expect, a new keyframe appears after that keyframe. Deleting that keyframe, and changing the flight direction from left to right to right to left. Adding a keyframe by selecting after. Moving into position. Then adding the keyframe causes the keyframe to appear before the keyframe that the drone was located at. So this is not relative to the flight direction it's relative to the position of the keyframe. So adding it before causes it to appear to the left of the keyframe and adding it after causes it to appear to the right of the keyframe. So maybe Skydio should have simply labeled before and after as just left and right. Tip number two, when deleting a keyframe. When deleting the keyframe, the drone flies immediately to the keyframe to the left of the keyframe that you deleted. Tip number three, when touching a keyframe, the drone flies directly to that keyframe, skipping any keyframes in between it and it accelerates to the maximum speed of 15 miles per hour. Tip number four, when loading a saved keyframe. Loading a saved keyframe causes the drone to fly immediately to the first keyframe in the spline at a maximum speed of 15 miles per hour. Being aware that this first keyframe may not be near where you took off from. Tip number five, adjusting flight speed. Unfortunately, when playing your keyframes, moving the right joystick forward or backwards does not allow control of the speed and neither does using the speed boost button. Skydio, are you watching this video by any chance? Tip number six, control using the beacon. You can fly with the beacon to add keyframes by manually steering the drone, turning left and right, changing the altitude up and down, and then moving forward. But when you need to change the camera angle, simply use the app and slide your finger up and down to control the camera up and down, or slide it left or right to turn the camera left or right. Tip number seven, reduce low battery anxiety. Since setting up keyframes may require extended fly time, Avoid low battery anxiety by having a spare battery, or better yet, the Skydio 2 Plus battery, which is fully backward compatible with the original Skydio 2 and can extend flight time by up to 4 minutes. The original battery is rated for 23 minutes. The new Skydio 2 Plus battery is rated for 27 minutes. Tip number 8, using the cable cam skill. Using the cable cam skill, although limited to just two waypoints or keyframes, does allow visual tracking, which the keyframe skill doesn't currently offer. Again, Skydio, are you watching this video by any chance? All right, guys, so thanks for watching. If you found maybe just one tip that you found to be helpful, maybe two, then appreciate you hitting that like button to let me and others know that you found this video helpful. Got a lot more videos coming up on the Skydio 2 and the Skydio 2 Plus, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. And as always, happy flying.